post office is used to delivering gifts this time of year, but when it's more than 300 gifts to an elementary school, that's one very special delivery. Lewis Agassi School looked like Santa's workshop just before winter break, thanks to USPS donations. They made a list and checked it twice, and they found every student was very nice. We're here today to spread a little joy and to give back to the community to some kids and which is a joy. We've done it for the past 27 years and we just continue to do it. It's nothing like a blessing to see the smile on a child's face when they're given something. The post office sent out a truck to bring all of the gifts to the school. Once we get to the school, we offload and bring it in. The post office is taking care of us for the whole building, so it's wonderful to see the kids so thrilled. Um, we have a large population of kids that uh, we don't know what they're going to get for Christmas, so for the post office to do this is just wonderful. It's, it's thrilling and chaotic and wonderful all at the same time. You want me to help you carry it? Uh -oh, okay, here, you carry, you carry that on. We got one child that said the only thing they wanted was a food card. Now, you know, that's, that's touchy, because here's this child, he must be hungry, I would say. We try to take care of all the needs, and we did give him some gift cards. One person wanted a Barbie dollhouse, and they got it. <laughs> Had to stay to the backside, because I'm, I'm kind of like a crier, so I'm crying. Are you going to put toys under your tree? When the kindergartners came down, you could hear them screaming in the hallway, Santa. Um, and when they saw the gifts, just, just a look of joy on their face. Um, and I have had two or three kids that have said, you know, they weren't going to get anything else. So, you know, and they got multiple gifts. So for them, this is a whole Christmas, which is just, you know, it's why we're here. It's why we do this job. Many of the gifts were bigger than the students, and the post office made sure to come with a few extra gift cards just in case someone was overlooked. So every student left with at least one gift to put under their tree. Reporting from the CMSD TV studio, I'm Shannon Kantner.